The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. I need new glass. I get the glass. Yeah. Talk to Sheila. If you really are a friend, the name that haunts. But I know it. Lara. Ah, there we go. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. Aha. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Mm, do you know how to get out? Do you know how to get out of here? We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. I got red The nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. Ah, that's what I, just I too. can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Yeah, I How need a name band. We swap our name bands. Oh yeah, I don't mind. But sure. that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure. Yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? Okay. I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. I suppose is it, it is. Safe. It's perfectly safe. Um okay. I'll see what I can do. Um, how do I exit this? feel like sharing. What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. What? That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time. What the fuck is he talking but about? it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? Are you alright? I'm fine. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. Chill out. They're probably just very busy. That's all. Why can't I exit this menu? Okay, um... 
What exactly is this little treat you make? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. Why? They bring it. I drink it down. And my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it. But I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Finally. I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. Okay, I'm gonna go and make some coffee. And then uh, we'll give the woman the red stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So let's continue. Um, oh yeah, we was gonna give her the red stuff. Give. I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? You sure can. Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. See, not very friendly, you see. <laughs> um, storage room. Office. Right, some nice paintings. Ah, crap. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. 
Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. Oh shit, I'm I fine. apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? okay. And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? No. Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Yeah, let's not say I'm alone. I live with a friend. She must be worried sick about me. A friend? Really? I'm confused. In your suicide note, you said you live alone. Okay, I lied. Okay, maybe we you should just be, be afraid of opening but... up, Susan. <coughs> no, I know. Please, it's for your own good that we're doing this. We need to figure out where things have gone wrong and how to fix them. I'm afraid you'll need a time machine for that, Doctor. A human mind is the best time machine you can get, Susan. All we need is for you to relax and be honest with me. Can we do that? Yes, Doctor. What do you do for a living? I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired. Most of the time, I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Let's see. I drink coffee and smoke. I eat breakfast. I have a cup of tea. I actually, first thing I do is drink coffee and smoke. I drink so strong let's coffee go with that. and smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the day, but it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? See why so much. Uh, well, she is a lot of ugly, but... A good friend is all you need, right? A good friend. 
Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? No. No. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? No. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. So let me go Not home. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? No, no. not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? I don't drink alcohol in real life, so no. No. That's good. Alcohol is a powerful depressant. I never really liked drinking. Excellent. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No. No, no of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it, or plan it. It just... happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me, why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. I had a really rotten day, you know? I felt like I was suffocating between the four walls of my bedroom. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? I think this game is pretty interesting and has kind of interesting story, but I can't identify with the main character at all. I mean, suicide would just be something unthinkable. So I can't really get into the game, but yeah. Let's see, what was the question? I don't know, not anymore. I guess not anymore. I don't remember the question. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Well, she's a cat lady, so... My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? I hate rain with a passion, so... 
I hate it when it rains all the time. I know it's a bit silly, but that's how it affects me. I can't help it. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Oh, I never really thought about that, but I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it, since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who's Eric? Eric. Yes. Your husband. I don't have husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell Stop me about it. your relationship? What had <sighs> happened between you two? This is not to do with him. There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk to about. Because hmm. I don't have a husband. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality. But I have to ask, are you going to do it again? No. That's a hard one. How is I that a hard know. one? But Stupid hey, girl. I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well... After I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. Huh? She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, oh, okay. you must follow me. Quickly. Oh, do I need to? Oh, I do. This is where? I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Okay, okay. Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Is he going to try and kill me? Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. What? I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Uh, okay. someone coming damn it we can't go through there let's turn back Susan I know another way turn left here we can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place
What are we doing on the roof? Liz. Not saying. What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? There what? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. Where is she? And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Is Let's she invisible? It won't hurt. You'll see. You lost your mind. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A&E? What's A&E? She disappeared and was later found dead in the war. Yeah, she smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay, you have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, yes you, do. you do. You can choose to come back inside with me and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. The stripper? Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. Yeah, she's a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. <coughs> it can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped. And you can't trust anyone? You Look, can trust me. I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day? Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really yeah, listened yeah, to listen. everything I said after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! Yes. Oh, no! Oh, crap. Well, that sucks. that I went back I tried telling people about Liz but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me maybe I dreamt and you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building you know it doesn't matter I just want to finish this and get some fresh air Susan I know Liz well she wouldn't do something like that as a matter of fact I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's all right. So I did, Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. 
I don't even care that much anyway. Well, I thought you cared about this. The door is locked. I plan ahead, sis. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming what? back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. What are you talking about? No! Why? You son of a bitch! Uh. Oh, come on, I'm dead already. <laughs> 